What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So quick video today, but I am planning some more in the future. Um, I wanted to talk about one change that can make navigating in Rhino a lot easier. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you've ever worked in basically any other 3D modeling program, um, you've had it set up where the middle mouse button allows you to orbit in your model, right? You click and hold the middle mouse button in, orbit, in order to orbit around. For some reason, this is set up where the right mouse button, if you click and drag, is going to orbit, um, and then you can scroll with the scroll wheel. So in order to change this, what you can do is you can go to File, Properties, and if you go into the Mouse, settings um, you want so you want to click on the option for mouse and specifically you want to look under the option for middle mouse button and currently middle mouse button is set to pop up this default toolbar you could do a custom toolbar if you want we don't want that we want the middle mouse button to manipulate the view now depending on what you're used to um, you might be used to the middle mouse button doing a pan but you're probably used to this doing a rotate and so we want to go ahead and we want to do the rotate with the middle mouse button. So click on this option right here and click on OK. Now, if you click and drag with your middle mouse button, this is going to orbit around in your scene. And if you hold the shift key and click and drag the middle mouse button, this is going to pan your view. So simple change, but if you've worked in uh, most other 3D modeling softwares, this is going to make navigating around in Rhino a lot easier for you. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Um, more videos to come for sure, but um, just wanted to get that out there because it was really kind of bothering me. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.